So this is my shop-made ring roller, purposely made to roll timpani hoops or drum hoops, such as flesh hoops. So the way this works, this acne screw drops this down. So this is a pyramid scheme. <laughs> this is a pyramid method of rolling. This is the drive roll. So as I roll this along, this spins. And I can also motorize it with a pipe threader, which I have it set up to do so. And I'll show that on a future video. It's a sample piece. I put it in my rollers. And when I designed this, I purposely left this one floating so they could be aligned right where I need it. There are grooves cut into these, which I'll bring the camera in in a moment to show. To keep this all lined up so that it doesn't curve outward or inward so we can roll a flat ring. So right now, I can roll this back and forth like this. Tighten it a little bit. Keep going back and forth. As you can see, the metal is starting to bend. I could do this quicker if I really wanted to, but I feel like the bends become smoother if you go slow. So I usually do about a quarter of a turn each time. And it's a pretty quick process. The video is not really meant to be a ring rolling video, as I do plan to do that in the future, near future. And the only delay there is really the weather. So there you go. Could use this as a handle on top of something or half of a hoop if you wanted to weld it together. Hold it there against the door so you can see a little better. But that's quarter inch steel, one and one quarter. And that's what this will produce. I have different grooves on my rollers. This one is for square half inch stock or seven sixteenth stock. This is for one and a quarter. This right here is for quarter. And to be honest, I really just use this one and this one. I don't try to get the quarter in there. And those are all timpani sizes. So suspension hoop, counter hoop, tuning gauge hoop, or the rails. So again, as you can see, it's a pyramid setup. This being the drive roller, and it also goes up and down on this threaded screw here. And then this T right here can be loosened for more leverage. Back over here, this is the ring to roll with the hand. This part right here is a milled, has eight sides, a milled adapter to hook up to the pipe threader. So there's little springs that clip in there. This bolt right here can go either here or over here. And that's actually what holds the pipe threader on. That goes through where the trigger guard is. The trigger is zip tied and I have a foot pedal to operate it. Everything is run on bearings. As you can see, I have this bearing block right here or a pillow block. Another one on this side down here. These are welded in. There's bearings inside of there, and these are lined up and they stay stationary this way. There we go. So that shaft's machined out of, I think, maybe 1144, some sort of stress proof. Has a 20 millimeter end to match these dies that I bought at Harbor Freight before they took them off the market. Hopefully I can earn your subscription. Maybe you'll tune back in to see the ring rolling episode. We'll talk about how hoops are made and how they're made flat and round. And also how you can repair some hoops that may not be flat or round anymore. At the time of this filming, my most successful video is my 38 second time lapse of me cleaning my shop. I'd like to see a time lapse of me cleaning this. Let me know in the comments section.